Hey everyone, it's Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in Seattle, so I'm literally sitting on my living room floor at home in Seattle, obviously. Hence the not normal background and whatnot. But today is Saturday and I am bringing you a brand new video. I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time and it makes me so happy. I was just looking back at my channel the other day thinking, huh, what haven't I done in a while and what do I miss doing? What do people like? And it's of course Instagram hacks. With all of the new updates rolling out with so many different social media apps, it's hard to keep up. And that's why I'm here, to kinda keep you on track. So today I'm gonna talk about some new tips and tricks that I've discovered recently that I think are so cool and just very, very helpful in general in terms of building an audience and just making your Instagram posts and stories a lot more unique. And also some random, you know, little tricks that'll help you not be creepy and awkward like when you send that accidental DM that you didn't mean to send and you want to unsend it but you don't know how but now you do know how because I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> also apologies in advance for the sun it keeps like hiding behind clouds and then coming out and so I'm gonna be like as white as a ghost and then it's gonna be very dark and I'm sorry that's just how it's gonna be. So you guys subscribe if you're new here click that bell so that you're notified every time I post a video which is every Wednesday and Saturday. I did not post this last Wednesday because I was traveling and I misestimated how much time it would take me to get my video up so I'm sorry. I'm working on it. I really am. But stay notified, stay up to date. I got Instagram, all my socials are down below. Without further ado, you guys, let's get into this video. All right, so Instagram hack number one has to do with Instagram stories. And I know you probably always see people just have these solid colored backgrounds. And what I used to do is go to Google and type in like blue background, screenshot it, and then use it as my story background. But lo and behold, there is a way easier way to do this. So now all you need to do is go over to your stories, take a photo of literally anything, cause it's not gonna matter. We're gonna have an overlay on it. And then if you click the normal pen button and then click whatever color you want to use then you just tap and hold on your photo and the background will turn that color and if you want a tinted overlay but not completely like one solid color you do the same exact technique but instead of the pen button you use the little slanted brush pen button situation and then you get this nice little tinted overlay that is slightly transparent so it makes it so that if you want to use a photo and type some words you can just see it a lot better because there is that overlay on top so there you have it. So hack number two is that you can share other people's Instagram posts onto your story and it'll actually have their name and everything on it. So basically if you see a post that you really like and wanna share with your viewers or your fans or your followers, then simply click on the little share button that looks like a little envelope arrow situation. Click on that and then tap on share post to your followers or to your story. I forget what it says because I'm not on it right now. And from there, it'll just put the post on your story. It'll automatically create a background that has to do with the colors in the post. So that's super nice and it'll usually make it like a gradient background and then I also recommend like actually tagging the person so that they can see it and know that you posted but it's just a cool way to like share a lot of people screenshot people's photos and then put it on your story this is just a way easier way to directly put it on your story right when you see the post so really cool thing I didn't know existed but it does hack number three is the dreaded uh, sending that DM that you didn't want to send you sounded a little too thirsty whatever it is you can unsend it so when you send a DM now, simply tap and hold on the message and click unsend. Now, if the person has already seen it, then they've already seen it. You know, I haven't fully, like I've tested this, you can unsend it, but I, I don't know if someone gets a notification. You know what, no, I don't think you do because I tested it with my fake account or my other account and I didn't get a notification. So yeah, just keep in mind, you can always unsend it. You can always unsend it or just, you know, be be ballsy and send it anyway. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to give you some help. Hack number four is something that I guess has been out for like a month or so now, but I just never knew. You can actually share, instead of screenshots of Spotify songs, you can share a song directly from Spotify onto your Instagram story. So when you go to Spotify, you find the song or the album and then you click share. Well, you click the three little dots in the corner and then you click share and it'll actually give you that option right there to put it on your Instagram story. And then when it's on your story, the viewer actually has the option of clicking to Spotify and taking them to that song. So it's just this very direct way to share music versus just screenshots and then the person has to go find the artist and whatever, search for it on their own. This is just a way better streamlined version of this and I'm so happy this exists now. I can't believe I didn't know it did. And also just so you guys know, if it's not working for you, make sure that your apps are both updated, Spotify and Instagram. And sometimes it takes another like 24 hours for it to fully roll out. Like I updated them yesterday and it didn't actually work until today when I'm filming this. So just give it some time, it will work. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to like sync them separately. It'll just work. 
Yay! The next hack is that you can now upload multiple photos to your story at a time. So this one has not yet updated on my phone. Like I was just saying, for some reason, I can't do this on my phone yet, but I'll show you how you can do it. I hopefully, hopefully it'll show up in the next couple days. It'll roll out slowly. But if you go to your story and you click on the little album button or you pull up, it usually just says last 24 hours, but now you actually have your whole gallery and you can select multiple photos that you wanna put on your story. And then it'll take you to a screen where you can customize each photo individually. So instead of like going to your camera roll each time, you can kind of select the ones you wanna use, edit them, and then put them all to your story right there. So I thought that was really, really cool. Again, haven't experienced it yet because it's not on my phone. What's ironic is I make videos like this and I make a lot of videos about phones. And yet for some reason, I'm always the last one to get the updates. When updates first roll out, they like, they roll out at different times. So someone else might get it before me, like on their phone. And I think it has to do with like region you're in, carriers, like all these different things. But I'm always last and I'm like, yo, I need to make these videos. So like, give me the updates. Anyway, things you don't need to know, but just fascinating, right? Hack number six is another kind of like creepy stalker thing that I think will come in handy for a lot of you. So as you probably know, when you're going through your DMs, it'll say like active 16 minutes ago or like active now or active one hour ago. If you for some reason don't want people to see that on your profile, like if you don't want someone to know that you were active because you like didn't respond to their message or I don't know, whatever, you can actually turn that off. So how you do that is you go to your Instagram profile, click on the little settings icon and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says activity status. And then once you have activity status, it'll probably be toggled on so it'll be blue. But if you toggle that off, your activity status won't show anymore, which is super nice. Yeah, so then people who follow you won't be able to see when you were last active on Instagram, which is just kind of nice for certain reasons. I don't care, again, what your personal reasons are. Like, you can do whatever you need to do. But I figured that some people won't want that on there, so it comes in handy. Hack number seven is not so much a hack, but more of just a fun thing you can do. I've seen a lot of people do this, and I never really jumped on the the train. So Instagram templates that people put on their stories. So not only are these a great way to get more exposure because when people end up sharing them, they have your username on them, but also it's just a way for your followers to get to know you better. So what you can do is you can find other people's templates or, and you can probably like Google search Instagram story templates, or you can easily make your own on Microsoft Word, on PicMonkey, on Photoshop, and just you can make a cute fun background and ask a bunch of questions or do kind of a this or that moda model. And you can kind of just do whatever you want. You answer and put them on your story. Just make sure that you put your handle on the template so that if people share it, it's just more exposure for you. And again, it's just like a cute little fun way for people to get to know you. It's kind of like trending right now or was like in the last few weeks, couple months, whatever. I'm always a little late on the trends, it's okay. But yeah, I just thought that was like a fun little thing that you can do yourself if you ever want. Hack number eight is for if you want to mute someone that you follow without the risk of them being offended that you unfollowed them. So you can still follow them, but you can mute them and you can like not see their posts, not see their stories. This is a very new feature. And so again, because I'm always last on all the trains, my phone doesn't show it, but I'll insert a screenshot here. Um, all you need to do if you want to mute someone and have them not know, they will not find out, is you go to one of their posts, click the dots in the upper corner, and then just simply tap on the mute button, and that'll just make it so that they are no longer in your feed. And if you, you can do the same thing for DM, like direct messages, you can mute a message. It doesn't mean you won't receive the message, but you won't get a notification for it. So, you can just block out some of the spam. But yeah, waiting for this to, to happen, even though there's not really anyone I can think of that I'd want to mute, but normally I'm just savage and unfollow. <laughs> Hack number nine is something that you guys may already know, but I just, I've been noticing it a lot more lately and I keep thinking it's an effect, but it's not. So on people's Instagram stories, oftentimes you'll see this kind of shadow effect. Like you'll see a word and it'll have like this drop shadow. I always thought like, oh my gosh, is that a new feature? But it's not. All you need to do is type out a word twice, make one of the colors darker and one of the colors lighter, and then simply just layer the lighter one like slightly on top of the darker one. And it just creates this really natural like shadow effect that you created. It's, it is some work, not really, it's not that hard. But um, yeah, it just kind of adds some dynamic little punches to your stories, I don't know. <clears throat> what? Hack number 10 is for if you are someone who likes to use the Instagram filters that like the app provides you. I personally don't. I use like outside editing apps. If you guys want to see how I edit my photos, I will link a video down below showing you. Oh my God, my legs are getting tired. But if you are someone who uses the Instagram filters, did you know that when you put the filter on your photo, if you tap and hold on your the photo, it'll show you the original. So if you're like, you know, in one of your little editing zones and you want to like, you know, remind yourself what the original photo looked like to make sure you're not getting too carried away, you can just tap and see the original. So, very helpful. I didn't know that. I don't know if you knew that. I don't use the filters. 
hopefully it's useful. On that similar note with editing on Instagram, I never knew this, but once you are in that editing zone, sometimes you like forget what you've done. Like you don't remember, did I already sharpen this? Like what did I do that achieved this? So fun fact, if there is a gray dot underneath the editing tool, then it means you've used it. So if you're like in your little editing frenzy, and you need to go back and be like, oh, why does this look this way? You can see which effects you've used. So that's really helpful and just random, but I never knew. And there goes the sun behind the clouds again. Not even adjusting it this time. And last but not least, hack number 12 is to use the Lux effect on the photo. So I actually had no idea this was a thing. How? I don't know. You guys probably did because you're smart. But above the photo, when you're editing it, there is a sun button. And what that is, it's not brightness or contrast. It's this button that is, well, Lux, obviously. And basically it can help even out uneven exposure and like it can help with brightness and contrast and add a little bit more details where details are needed. So it's a little more complicated than just brightness and contrast, but it's, it's an effect that exists and a lot of people don't notice it. it. Goes unnoticed, it goes under the radar, it's underrated, but it's definitely a thing, so. I recommend checking it out. All right, you guys, that's it for my 12 Instagram new Instagram hacks that you need to know. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment any questions down below or anything that you think about these hacks or any tips or tricks that you guys have found. Let me know how you like these and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm so excited. Oh, and you can always follow me on Instagram at Adrian Finch and that's really it. I always linger at the end of these videos. This is gonna be like the outro squad. If you're watching this still, type down below, hashtag outro squad, okay? Because I feel like I always do this at the end. I just talk and talk and talk because I figure, oh, you're probably gone anyway by now. So then I just like linger and ramble. So maybe we'll just make our own club and it'll be just a cute little secret thing. So comment that down below and make everyone else confused. Okay, love you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.